accidentally stopped the video with my fingers. Now I'm going to have to make two. But here's the garage. Hot water heaters right when you come down. And then this is where the washer and dryer would go. Right here next to the hot water heater. Um, they have this in. But they have insul A lot of places are like this where they'll insulate the roof of the garage but if they don't actually drywall the dr the sides they won't insulate the side but if you would insulate these sides and eventually put drywall on them not only would you be able to use the space better by putting shelving and stuff in like they put that shelving on the studs um, but it would also control the temperature in here better as well as the bedrooms that are up above because this is where all of the bedrooms are up above the the garage and then it has a door to the outside just to show you how big um, probably from about halfway in between the poles is where the front of your car would go so you would have at least from that pole forward for storage, if not even a little more. Um, and then there's some room over there as well. And I'm sure some on this side too, because that's pretty wide for a car. So <clears throat> put a refrigerator down here, whatever you need to, like a lot of people have in their garage. And then there's a little walkway right here that goes around to the driveway. And then here's the side yard, which is beautiful. I mean, the grass looks wonderful. And this is a huge lot and a huge yard. I'm going to go around the back and show you, but I did want to show you the side view. I hope it doesn't get too dark before I get this all done for you. Yeah, the lady on the other house said that she got one more offer today since they put it back on the market. And she is familiar with ribbon, but she hasn't actually used it yet. She has signed up to use it. So the backyard does not have a deck, unfortunately. That would be one of the first things you would probably wanna add because you know when you come out in your backyard you want to be able to enjoy it so luckily you can't really see over there from from back here so you have two levels to the yard which is really cool and what i would do is i would build a deck as far over there as i could afford so if i could go all the way to the end of the house i would if i couldn't do that at first i'd go to the little retaining wall right there and then just keep adding on or maybe go down a couple of steps and make it a lower two party like a two part deck a two level deck but the yard is really pretty well maintained that um, retaining wall looks like it's in really good shape so the kids have all of this flat area down here as well as all of the flat area up there and there's so many things you could do with this backyard, adding a deck. Um, they have the covers over the, the net cover, wire covers over the uh, gutters so stuff can't get in them. Um, other than that sticking up, everything looks good to me. Um, underneath all of this wood and the eaves and soffits and corners um, look good and in very good shape. This little back porch looks to be in good shape. And yeah, like a lot of times you'll see retaining walls like this that have been there for a while and they'll at least be leaning. This one's bulging just a little bit. An inspector would probably say it was starting to bulge, but this thing's not going anywhere. I mean, it's in really good shape. Whoever built that did a good job. And then you have this weird tree root going all the way towards the house, which I would want to find out more about that. And there's the AC. And then here's the property line. You can see where the grass is cut. 
and it goes back around to the front of the house. So they have a huge satellite dish up there, like one of the old school ones. Like not the little one from um, Direct TV, like the ones back from the early 2000s. But this is a beautiful home. And like I said, even this door trim where you usually do see some, you know, rotten wood or needs to be repainted or whatever. That looks good. All of the windows and doors look good. It almost looks like to me that they may have replaced some of the windows. But these are those kind of windows that you can open them and then you can use this and you can fold them down so that you can clean them. I don't want to undo one of them because then if I couldn't figure out how to get it back, I would be stuck here. <laughs> so just another look around. Very pretty, very open space. Definitely can add an island 100% which would give you more cabinet space and a uh, space for the kids to eat up at the counter. Um, you could definitely change this to a microwave with a vent under it over the stove. Um, and then over here where your table, you could have a longer big table or a round table um, and then you don't even have to have it in the bay window you could have a table right here and then you could do one of my favorite things in homes which is have Wesley build you a window seat right here like a storage box seat and so the vent air can still come out through the front of it somehow and then um, you have a window seat <clears throat> to sit in. I love those. So there's just a lot of possibilities. And the good thing about this home is they've already done most of the work for you. So going out is going to be dark. -er. So our final view out to the road isn't going to be as bright as it usually is so you can see everything but here's our one last picture of the yard in the front of the house and that's it i have a really funny story about when i first got here i couldn't get in so it took me like 45 minutes to be able to get back in here and so i'll tell you later but I'll talk to you soon. Bye.